Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting battery review video for you today. This time from Lee Time, one of the most popular brands on Amazon. Uh, one of the best selling brands on Amazon, no doubt. Today I'm going to take this Lee Time through its paces. Capacity test, full power pull, torture test, and a tear down to see how it compares to other brands of batteries. So you saw that unboxing, we get a battery, got a nice little packet that includes a product manual, your terminal bolts and some caps, a little brochure for other offerings from Lee Time, a sticker pack, your quick start guide and warranty service card, and a nice little envelope, plastic envelope to keep everything organized. And this is Lee Times Group 24 and more battery. So it's a Group 24 size format. Fits in your standard battery boxes on RVs and things like that. Third amp hours, of course, 100 amp BMS in this model. Two nice carry handles. Very nice looking battery. So I'm fixed to start testing this battery, but I'm gonna give you the quick tech specs to save you time. I'm gonna put them in a the slide right here. All right, so you saw the tech specs, so time to put it to the test. All right, so I got a meter set up on the battery reading across it. I've got four knot Windy Nation cable down to my Renji shunt here on the top bowl, 120 volt, 4,000 watt inverter. If you haven't seen how I did that, I'll put a link in the description for that. But time to do the full power pull. All right, since I'm using the top bowl today at 120 volts, the hair dryer is gonna over amp us. So you can see I've bled a little bit of the battery out already trying to dial it in. So I've got the resistive load and I've also got another switch mode power supply hooked up to get us about 105, 106 amps. So instead of 10 minutes at 120 to 130, I'm on it for 15 at like 104 or 105. So a little bit different test today, but still should achieve the same results to make sure the BMS is in good shape. So begin testing now. I'm gonna hook up the first load and then we're gonna hit the resistive load. So watch the energy meter. And I'll be back with you in 15 minutes, starting now. All right, that's 15 minutes at 104 to 107 amps. So it did pretty good. I've got the lead time fully topped off. Let me turn up the charger just a little bit. No more current going into the battery, so it's full. Now it's time for the capacity test. All right, got everything hooked up to the sampling shut energy meter. I'm gonna show you all the wires, no hidden wires anywhere. Everything. There's the energy meter right there, so. No hidden wires, no funny business, true, real life capacity test. All right, so the inverter's powered up. Now time to put the load on it. The test is underway on the lead time. Pulling about 27 amps, roughly 360 watts to the load. So let it run for a few hours and I'll be back and we'll see how much capacity this lead time has in it. Fixing to roll over the 1280 watt hour mark. Fixed to get your money's worth. So I'll film it live as we roll through and there we go, 1280. So it's got 100 amp hours out of it already. So anything past this is a bonus. It means you're getting more what you pay for. So still at 12.31 volts, 12.30. So pull it a little longer and see how far it'll go. Okay, the inverter just shut off at low voltage. 1,339 watt hours out of the lead time. Very nice, very nice. All right, take one good last look at this lead time. Group 24, 100 amp hour. It's time for the tear down what y'all all came to see. See how this unit's built. So I'll go crack it open. As normal, I've got it most of the way cracked open. So I'll open the lid so we can look at it at the same time together. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Get you a little closer look and see what all's happening in this battery. So let's start with the wiring on this model. So going up to the terminal post on the top of the battery, we've got three 200 degree silicon jacketed number 10s on the negative side. And then the positive side is a single number six 200 degree jacketed conductor. So I had to cut the extra insulation off. They got a protective jacket on top of the actual wire, which is nice to see. Hydraulic crimp connections. Uh, got nice sealant so the terminal bolts don't back off on the top. Nice solder connections for the battery leads and the output leads on the BMS. As a lead time branded 100 amp BMS right there. Uh, we got balance leads going down to the cells here. 
uh, thermal switch looks like on the side of the cells. No low temp sensors or anything like that on this model, which is not marketed as having that. There are no claims from lead time for low temp protection on this model. So I'll see if I can go into it a little further and we'll investigate how the cells are constructed and all that. That cell pack is not coming out of that case. I pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled, wiggled. This one is glued down something serious. It's not coming out of that case without destroying the case. So I cannot get this cell pack out of this enclosure, which is a good thing. That means it's solidly built. There's foam everywhere. But anyhow, I pulled the BMS loose. I want to check, make sure we got a high temp protection on the BMS plus the cells. As you can see, we got a, this is a 75 degree C thermal switch right here. I looked at my inspection mirror. It's a pretty standard 75 degree switch there, protecting the cells from a high temp condition. Uh, the BMS is mounted on epoxy board on top of the cell pack. And let me change the camera angle and I'll show you we have a, we might can see it from right here. We have a high temp thermal switch on the BMS too, right there. See those white leads, little white switch right there. So there's a high temp thermal protection for the BMS board and high temp thermal protection for the cells, uh, the battery pack. We got nice corner guards here, nice tie band compression, nice thick epoxy board between the cells. Very nicely built pack. I'll try to get you a shot of the laser welds on the side here for the bus bars. Very clean laser welds down in there. No splattering, nice clean welds. Uh, machine screw bolted connections for all the balance leads. Nice wire loom protection on the balance leads. Everything's sealed off. Nothing's loose. Very nice quality built pack. Now time for the rating categories on this Lee Time Group 24 battery. Rating category, zero stars is junk. Five stars is really nice. Load handling, it gets five stars. It handles the load no problem as designed. So yeah, five stars. Capacity. Five stars. I would give it six, but my scale only goes to five. This one's like a freight train. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. The biggest capacity of any 12 volt battery I've tested so far. This one has huge capacity in it. Very, very nice. Safeties and BMS, it gets five stars. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's as advertised, as designed. Construction, this unit gets five stars for construction. It's built very well. A uh, very good seal on the lid. The pack is anchored in there like it's concreted in there. No lie, that one will not come out. Foam everywhere. Nice heavy gauge wire on the positive and negative terminals. Nice connections, nice laser wells, nice cell compression. You name it, it's built well. Price and value. Now this is the hang up on this one. I was kind of torn on this one. Um, it's on sale right now. It's normally $255. And they got a coupon, so it's like $229, $230 right now for this model. So the price is down uh, compared to its normal price. But there are some options that give you a little extra for, for what the price is. Some have low temp protection at this price range. This one does not. But we kind of I got to kind of weigh that in with the capacity and the construction. I was torn between four and five stars on the price and value. Um, so I'm going to give it five stars because it's just it's got such a big capacity in this unit and it's so well constructed. Even though it is a little more expensive, I'm gonna go ahead and give it five stars on this one because I really think this one's worth the money because it's just, it's a, it's a heavy hitter. And would I run this battery? Yes, I'd run this battery. No problems at all, but just keep in mind, this battery does not have low temperature protection. So if you're using an RV and marine applications, be sure to protect it from freezing. You cannot charge this one below freezing. It will be damaged. So that is the one caveat to this group 24. There's no low temp cutoff. That's my, my gripe. If they'd have put low temp cutoff, this is going to be really hard to beat. Great quality battery, great brand. You can I can see why lead time is so popular. This is just a great battery, just great all around battery. So yeah, definitely a good one. So if you enjoyed today's video, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.